Hello, good afternoon everyone, welcome back. Okay, so this time I'm here in this ETDC area in Nusa Dua. And this is the kind of like the center of the area, guys. It is very nice. They have uh, what you call that fountain and then the monument or something <laughs> where you can uh, take pictures or you can do exercise walking around here but maybe it's too hot for doing exercise at this time and in this area is the kind of like a spatial area it belongs to the government where there are so many five uh, star resorts like here on the left side this is the wasting resort all are five star resorts i think in this area and uh, next to it here also uh, melia bali and then uh, nusa dua beach but this time I will not visit any resort or the beach side like normally I do. I just want to drive you around in this area because I got a lot of questions. Where is the entrance to go to the beach in Nusa Dua? I will show you later guys and let's also see around the area. And to go to Nusa Dua beach you need to come here just exactly to this road. You don't need to stay um, in in this area to be able to go to Nusa Dua Beach because that is a um, public beach. So you stay around, maybe let's say you are staying at Tanjung Benua or you are staying in uh, Kuta or Jimbaran. If you want to visit uh, these beaches also you can do. And also there is a um, one-stop shopping center, we call it Bali Collection. I've been a few times to Bali Collection to update you the situation, to see what they have, so you can search my video uh, about Bali Collections, guys. And we need to get the parking tickets to come here. And this one, Bunda Morula. This is how you pronounce it, Bunda Morula. But next to it here is part of the uh, Bali Collection. And there is a spa here. It was an Indian restaurant uh, here, Bangle, but unfortunately it's gone now. So this side actually, and this is M Spa. Have you been to this spa? Maybe you can tell the experience. But it looks good from outside. And here is Sogo, guys. This is part of Bali Collection. There are a few entrance to go to Bali Collection. They have their main entrance. We call it Gate A. And this is uh, another gate from here that you can enter also Bali Collection. There are so many stuff that you can uh, see inside. Um, souvenirs, branded stuff, and many things. And here as well. Well, let's be here. Eh? And there is also here Nusa Dua Theater, the place where you can see the Deaf Dance Show, guys. What is Deaf Dance Show? It is a show it's about Indonesia, culture of Indonesia. And you can uh, find the tickets online. The price of the tickets is quite expensive, but some people say that it's, it's, it is worth to to buy because the show is very good anyway this is um, the entrance to go to Nusa Dua Beach you can come here you can park your car or scooter and then you can walk around at the beach guys last time I came there but this time like I said I just want to drive you around here it's nice to see a lot of tourists walking around here and here on the left side, as you can see, there are some projects ongoing. This one must be, uh, what is this? A restaurant soon or something? If you want to stay more quiet and relaxing, I think this area is good. But of course, the price of the hotels, if you compare them to other area like in Kuta, for example, probably the hotels or resorts in this area are slightly more expensive, guys. But I think it's worth to pay because the, the facilities, the atmosphere, 
it is uh, good and here on the right side unfortunately this gate still closed it was busy area before guys but unfortunately now as you can see it is closed and some of the, uh, of the businesses around here also still closed abandoned this is part of Bali collection but in this area as you can see it's not good and also if you go to the left here you will go to the beach side as well you can go to Grand Hyatt Hotel and there are many hotels guys that side okay let's continue let's keep driving and this is the parking area if you drive your car or scooter you can park here as well to go to that side uh, beach and also there is a peninsula island guys there so it's just a small island with nice uh, statues and also you can see the water blow okay i need to uh, pay the parking fee i need to pay five thousand rupiah just to <laughs> uh, drive pass by that is the cost of the parking fee actually i don't know in the sadua area if it's good for serving but I can see some tourists they are bringing surfboard so maybe still good for surfing and here on the right side is also part of the Bali collections guys anybody of you like to stay at Grand Hyatt this is the hotel in front of us the gate to go to Grand Hyatt I think one of the best hotel also in this area and it's it safe to walk around here at night of course it is very safe guys because every gate there is a security check as well and here if you go to the left there are some hotels like Amartera, Merusaka and many more and I will drive out from this area in case you want to try other restaurants for example or market if you don't want to spend your money at Bali collection there are some options guys and here on the right side I think they are building a golf field so if you want to play golf maybe next time you can come here and here there is a roundabout if you go to the left you will go to Mangiat beach here at this time let's go out from here and let's see the um, street shops a lot of restaurants as well so let's keep driving Last time someone asked me eh. and here on the right side is the Kenja Ikan Bakar Ikan is fish, Bakar is grill guys so grill fish Kagura Beer Corner and there are a lot of restaurants starting from here like Tropical Restaurant and Kokatu here Ulam Nusadua, this is a Kokatu. I heard this is a uh, nice also. I think they are open for lunch. This one also Laguna Garden, Nyoman Beer Garden, and here on the left side some spas. There are so many spas in this area. Shops. But I don't know, not a lot of, I mean, still there are a lot of shops uh, remaining closed like here also on the right side but as you can see the situation is not really busy guys only there are a few tourists walking around in this area 
and this is also nice water gourmet Balinese seafood westerns and etc if you look for supermarket in Nusa Dua they have Bali collection and also they have just outside of this ETTC area guys they have Coco supermarket as well Here on the right side is the Coco supermarket What you can do some shopping And here on the left side if you want to try Indonesian food There are so many restaurants guys Here And this one is very famous for Nasi Campur Warung Ibu Oki Look at that A lot of domestic tourists like to go there And also the price is not expensive here that is Hotel Santika. What is nasi champur? Nasi is rice, champur is a mix. Basically, they will serve um, white rice with chicken meats, vegetables, satay, sambals, and etc. Maybe you can try, especially if you love spicy food, uh, you can try nasi champur next time. Okay, so that's all for today's uh, video from this area in Nusa Dua. At least you have an idea if you stay around here, what is the situation, where to shops, to go for um, street food or um, Indonesian food, nasi campur maybe. Or if you want to go to restaurants, there are a lot of uh, restaurants at Bali Collections, guys. And also if you want to go to beaches, but if you stay in Sadua, I think most of your hotel, you will have access directly to the beach. But for people that not staying here in Sadua, they still can visit the beach, guys. The beach is very nice. It's not really busy like uh, other beach, for example, like Kuta, for example. It's really busy. But here, most of the beaches are quiet, just relaxing. Okay, so see you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.